In addition to basic copy and paste, we can use something called the fill handle to do a special type of copying. So I'll demonstrate a few different types of copy and paste here. We'll start up here with these numbers. And what the fill handle does is allows Excel to what I call intelligently copy and paste. So the fill handle is this little square, you'll see it in the bottom corner, the bottom uh, right hand corner of your active cell. So if I just have one cell highlighted, it's down here. If I have a whole range like this, it'll be in the farthest right and farthest bottom corner. And when I hover over the fill handle, my cursor changes. Notice how I have a white cursor here, but if I hover, it changes to a smaller black cursor. And uh, that means I've got the fill handle uh, location correct. If I click and hold, now I have the fill handle, and I'm going to drag it over to the right. Now notice this little hint that just popped up on the screen. You might have to put it in full screen mode to see, but uh, it says the number 4. If I move over another cell, it says 5. And sure enough, if I let go of the fill handle, it has copied over the pattern. And that's what I mean by intelligently filling. So it recognized that I was counting 1, 2, 3, and so it put 4 and 5. The same thing will happen here if I do um, 1, 2, and 3 down, it'll still work. I go to the lower right hand corner, grab my fill handle, and I go down 4, 5, 6. Sure enough, that worked. Let's see if it does it with 2, 4, 6. Will it recognize that we can do a pattern of 2? Sure enough, it does. 8, 10, and 12. And that works perfect. It'll even count by tens. Really, it'll count. Uh, any decent pattern that we have, 33, 43, and 53, so it's counting by tens. But notice if I go from 2, 4, and 13, that's not really a consistent pattern, so if I try to copy it over, it gives me some kind of crazy numbers. So just keep that in mind when you're using it, that it needs to be a pretty well-defined pattern for it to pick up on it. That's with numbers. Let's see if it'll work with dates. If we do from 8, 5, and I'm just going to grab my fill handle and drag it down. It does 8, 6, 8, 7, and so on. So it actually goes down and it fills. Whoops, we got to resize our column. And it fills one day at a time. Now, if I tell it a pattern, 8, 5 to 9, 5, so I'm saying go up one month, it'll recognize that. We've got 10, 5, 11, 5, and 12, 5. Uh, I'm going to resize all three of those by highlighting the column double clicking for auto fit and now I've resized. So 10, 5, 11, 5 and that works perfect. Now we can also try it with text here. So if I do A, maybe it'll do B, right? Unfortunately, no. It does not recognize A, B, C like that. Now maybe if we give it the pattern that'll work and unfortunately that doesn't work either. But it does do something interesting. What it does is it recognizes that I have A then B so it copies A, then B, A, then B, and so on. So that will work with text. Uh, the fill handle will also work with formatting. So I have this filled with blue. And if I use my fill handle to drag it down, it copies the formatting from that cell. Just like we did with text, we had A, then B. I've got white, then green. If I highlight those two and drag it down, it'll fill white then green, white then green. So it does recognize patterns in that way as well. So what's an instance where I'd want to use the fill handle? Well, let me give you just one example here. We'll use more throughout the uh, series, but if I do expense type, maybe all of these expenses relate to travel, and I don't really want to have to type travel each time, and maybe I don't want to do copy and paste over and over. So I'm just going to uh, hold my fill handle and pull it down and just as fast as that, I have travel in all of those cells. Now I'm going to click undo and show you one way that's even faster using the fill handle. If to the left of my column, I have values filled in, it will intelligently copy and stop where the values stop. So once it gets down here to cell I-25, it'll recognize that there's nothing to the left, so it'll stop copying. So I'm going to come over here to the fill handle and double click on the fill handle and it throws it down, copies it down for me, there's travel all the way down. So it's very fast and very easy, especially if we're trying to copy a lot of information quickly.